What is up guys? We have a BEA beautiful day here in Knoxville, Tennessee. And you know, we're just out for a ride, you know, try and enjoy yourself a little bit. Um, I know the last video, my mic was kind of eh. Like uh, I tried to, you know, change the positions. So I fixed the popping, but my vocals were sparking the audio. So it kind of made uh, my audio sound like shit. Um, so I rearranged my mic again. So we're gonna try this one out and see if it's any better. If not, then we'll go back to another way. We'll just keep trying things until it sounds better, right? But, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're on a random ride. I'm just gonna see where the road takes us, I suppose. And try out this mic as we do so. Oh, I don't like how this road is. This road kind of makes me nervous. Okay. I have no clue where I am. I don't, I don't like one lane roads because you always run into those people they just haul ass on them. And I don't know this one so I'm not really sure what to expect. I was just trying to go find some random roads. Yeah, roads like this. See, like this guy. You need to, you need to pipe the fuck down, buddy. Dang. Um, let's see here. Where? We'll go this way. This way it looks a little bit more out in the open than that way does. So, uh, the body shop got the uh, side skirts test fitted on my Skyline and they look like they're gonna fit great. So now all we're waiting for is my windshield. No, my windshield still isn't here yet, which is friggin' ridiculous. It's really pushing my buttons. Um, but you know, one of these days, it'll be here. I'm just ready to have my car back, guys. Like, I missed my skyline. And I think when it, uh, when it gets back, I'll start vlogging in the skyline as well. So, uh, oops. Neutral bomb going too slow, I guess. Um, anyway, I'm gonna start vlogging in the skyline. Hopefully, if I can find a way to do so. Um, if you guys would like that, you know, comment below if you want me to start driving the skyline around when I get it back and do some videos in the skyline. Maybe we can find some fun stuff to do in that. Doing that anyway, I don't know. Go through some drive-through backwards, you know, since it's right-hand drive. You know, we'll find some stuff to do. Uh, yeah, comment below and see if you tell me if you'd like to see some of that. And how I drove on this road extremely slow is how you should always drive on a road you don't know, and especially one that's sketchy like that. You uh, never want to get ahead of yourself. And like I said, you never know when a car is going to be coming around a corner hauling ass not paying attention not even expecting a motorcycle to be around the corner so i'd rather go slower where i can kind of position myself more out of the way but uh noted i'm never going down that road again so uh that's that that's the way that cookie's gonna crumble wow seriously i just made a big loop right there is the road that i just went down what the heck what a waste of time just got me like white knuckling for no reason. I should have just kept going straight. Lesson learned, I suppose. But you never know where a road goes until you take it, right? Well, since last night, I've had this super bad crick in my neck. I don't think I've had a crick this bad since like my freshman year of high school. Like it hurts to move it to the left. But we can't let little things like that stop us from riding, right? You gotta, you gotta press through it. It'll be all right. I just can't really look left, but just like in my last video, was it my last video or the video before that where I was talking about mirrors? Guess what? My neck hurts. I can't turn all the way to the left, but you know what? I got a freaking mirror. I can see. If I was one of those dim wads that deleted the mirrors, I wouldn't be able to see. I would have to like, I guess, rotate my entire body around like that. But we got mirrors so we don't have to worry about it hmm which way should we go here uh, let's 
to go to the right. Rights are usually promising, right? Man, I bet the flames on that thing makes it haul ass. It's for sale too. Oh man. Woo. That's a hot ride there, you know what I'm saying? No pun intended, no okay pun intended, maybe. <laughs> I don't know what it is about flames on cars, I just can't stand them. Like even on classic cars. I love classic cars, but I like more subtle looks. Oh, is that a 69 Mustang? Um, anyway, back to the flames on the cars. Um, I just, I don't know. Like I said, I like more subtle looks. I think when you when you put flames on it, you're overcompensating for something. I don't I don't know. I just don't like flames. I guess that's my opinion. If you like flames, that's cool. Whatever. I'm not going to judge you for it. But me personally, I don't really like flames on cars. And through here we go. That's one thing I like about motorcycles. If somebody, if there's traffic coming and somebody's trying to turn on a two-lane road like this, usually you can always get around them. Especially when it's hot out and you actually wear gear like you're supposed to. It's kind of hot. But once you get that breeze, you know, you feel comfortable. On a car, I would have sat behind that guy forever. But on a motorcycle, you ain't got to sit behind nobody. You can always make your own route. You just got to, you know, check twice for cops. Because here in Tennessee, lane splitting isn't legal. Or anything like that isn't legal, so uh, you get blue lighted a real quick. I really hope the audio is okay on this mic now. The way it's positioned, it, it seems like it's going to be perfect, but looks can always be deceiving, I suppose. I won't know until I go to edit it tonight, so we'll see. Hopefully, it's good though. So, how many of you guys actually go riding and not have a single destination or where you're going? You just kind of go out like I am right now, take some turns, see where you end up, just keep riding. You know, does anybody else do that or am I the only one that crazy? I mean, it's not crazy, but I mean, it's just something to do. So, uh, comment below. How many of you guys actually go do that? I think that's one of my favorite things to do. As a matter of fact, when uh, me and my wife used to ride together a lot, um, we used to make it a thing that every time we went riding, we would try to find a new road that we actually liked. So we would go get lost all the time. With that being said, sometimes we ended up in some uh, really sketchy areas we shouldn't be in, if you know what I'm saying. But we always made it through them. We made the best out of it. We laughed about it. It was always a good time. Hopefully when um, our baby girl gets a little bit older, maybe we can uh, have one of her parents come over and watch her for a couple hours so uh, I can bring you guys some vlogs with her back in it. Did you guys enjoy her in the vlogs? She's funny. She's kind of derpy, but you know, she's my kind of derpy. That's why I married her. Are you going to turn, guy? Come on. Bro. I hate it when people act like they're driving a freaking semi. Like, just get the hell in the turn lane and get out of everybody else's way. I think I need to work on my road rage. I think that's one thing I need to work on. I'm way too road ragey. Which I've always been road ragey. It's just something about me. I'm not... I'm getting better in a car, but it's something about a motorcycle. I don't know. Everybody just tests my nerves. I don't know. I'll work on it, though. He waved like he was trying to cup air. He was like, hey. <laughs> oh, man, that was great. Wow, I just can't. Was that a Pontiac Sunflower? Or Sunfire with a hood scoop? Yes, I called it a Sunflower. Holy shit balls. It might as well be, right? I had a freaking hood scoop on. I can't even. I can't. Alrighty, my guys. On that note, I don't know how long or how short this video is going to be, but uh, we're going to call that a video and we'll post it and hope you guys enjoy um, the things that I said comment on. You know, please comment on them. You know, let me know. I'd like you guys' input. If there's something you guys want to want to see me do or something, you know, you can comment on that too. Don't be afraid to comment, guys. I will respond. I'm super active. So if you guys leave a comment, I'll be sure to comment back. I promise. So 
So uh, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.